Another unique application that can be accomplished with the vacuum mattress is sideline patient packaging. So this is probably something that's not entirely familiar to a lot of folks. Most of us were trained in litter packaging or patient packaging flat uh, on their back in a supine position. Um, however, the sideline position can be very helpful in certain situations. If you have a patient who is having ongoing nausea or vomiting during your evacuation, perhaps they're obtunded and when you put them supine, they're having uh, airway difficulties, some snoring and airway obstruction, uh, or perhaps they have have injuries of their back or their ribs that they just can't tolerate lying on their back, then sideline packaging can really be an advantageous uh, tool to have in your toolbox. And this is easily accomplished with the vacuum mattress. So points of performance here, again, we've got our patient, we've moved them onto the vacuum mattress using standard lifts. Uh, we've spread out the beads and arranged our straps to be ready for the patient with our uh, vacuum mattress prior to putting the patient on there. The one addition we're gonna need is, uh, is some kind of padding to create some, some pillow or some, some displacement underneath the patient's head. And so what I'll do is I'm just gonna slide this under Aaron's head. And for purposes of discussion today, we'll just say Aaron is having a medical issue with persistent vomiting. And so we're gonna need to trail evacuate him uh, and we want him to be held in a stable position in the, uh, in the litter so he won't be moving around. So we'll use the ma vacuum mattress for that. So now that we have him on his side, we can just go ahead and attach our strap similar to what we did before. and go ahead and just mold this in around our patient a little bit. And again, I don't wanna to make put too much pressure on his ribs. I don't wanna limit his respiratory movement, but we will wanna get him protected and snug in our packaging. And so you can put that padding either directly in contact with the patient's head or it can go underneath the mattress. Either one is really fine. So just come around here like this? Yeah, because if we're not concerned about a head injury, right. then, uh, then that we don't need the, the full immobilization there. And we have our last strap here. Great. And just like before, I'll go ahead and access my valve. I'll make sure it's tight and snug. Put my pump in and then I'm ready to deploy my vacuum. And this is where if you've got a couple other people, they can kind of help and mold this in as we deploy our vacuum. Good, so now we have a good vacuum. We'll go ahead and disconnect our pump, make sure the valve is snug, go ahead and put the valve cover back on. And Aaron is now packaged, we're ready to move. He's in a sideline configuration.